And good evening. Right now, the president is heading back to Washington after spending the day in Madison. Today's visit follows his spirited State of the Union address last night. Yes, the president spent the day, though, with Governor Tony Evers, Congressman Mark Pocan, and the mayor of Madison, Sate Rhodes Conway, touting his economic plan and its impact on middle class Wisconsinites. In fact, I was with President Biden as he talked about the economy and those job opportunities generated by one of his signature bipartisan wins. Hello, hello, hello. President Biden in Battleground, Wisconsin, telling union workers at a training facility near Madison that the nation's trillion dollar investment in infrastructure is working. For the first time in a long time, we're building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. The bottom up and the middle out with products made in America with union labor, not labor, union labor. The president hit on themes spelled out in his State of the Union speech Tuesday night and they played well with the trade skilled workers in the crowd. These are good jobs, jobs you can raise a family on and most don't require a college degree, jobs where people don't have to leave home in search of an opportunity. Democratic Representative Kaylin Haywood says the president's policies aren't just an investment in Milwaukee, but an economic opportunity. I think it is. I think we're seeing it impact workers in the workforce all across the nation. I know here in Milwaukee, um, we're seeing the jobs be created. We're seeing the investment be made. The president says the Biden economic plan is working, calling it the blue collar blueprint for America. But Republicans say the president is missing the mark on inflation. President Biden says inflation is coming down. The annual inflation rate last year was 6.5 percent after hitting 9.1 a 40-year high last summer. The president talks as though he's on another planet. But GOP State Party Chair Brian Schimming tells me Wisconsinites are still feeling the effects of inflation. The blue-collar people that the president claims to be working for, he is punished for three years straight. Now, President Biden has yet to officially announce he's running in 2024, but as he heads to Florida tomorrow, that will be the home to two likely 2024 rivals, former President Trump and Governor Ron DeSantis. So let's take a closer look at how that bipartisan infrastructure law impacted Wisconsin. More than $2.1 billion in federal money went to the Badger State for transportation projects. Like this one, for example, the city of Racine rolled out nine new electric buses in 2022, three of them made possible by federal transit authority funds. The buses are better for the environment and the budget, saving about $60,000 in diesel fuel costs each year. Here's another look. The White House says the president's plan is also helping create manufacturing jobs. Arrowhead Pharmaceutical has invested in its first fully dedicated drug manufacturing facility near Madison, adding 250 new workers. Georgia Pacific committed to expanding its Green Bay paper production facility bringing on 100 new employees and Alliant Lion Energy will build battery storage facilities at its South Central Solar Farms using union workers. 